So what's up everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel and I hope you all had a fantastic day and yes today it's time for another POV photography session in the winter and yeah today we will use the Canon R 35mm 1.8 in combination with the Canon EOS R5 and my backup camera is the Canon EOS R with the 24 to 105 f4 and today I want to take a couple of camera shots and some nature related photos so let's see what we can find here and i think i want to start with this here i think this might look great some stones and the camera so something like that oh yeah a look at that bam that is really nice I think a great shot might be like that. Darker. So just in front of the camera. And bam. Let's check it. Yes. So let's use this one here. The stone. This might be great. You can easily place the camera here. And yeah. Remove the landscape. Yeah, this looks so great. Bam. Look at that. Maybe we can use a higher F stop to get more of the camera in focus. So, like that. Check it. Yes, that is nice. Perfect. This one here is great. This is such a nice leaf. And bam. With this little icy touch, it just looks great. And especially in this season, you just need to take a couple of these icy shots it's just great it's so nice maybe let's try to use this tree so everything that's still there maybe we can use that let's go down there maybe like that so let's move on i think this might be another great shot be a little brighter. And let's place it straight on it. Yeah, look at that. Bam. Really nice. Maybe we can even get a really nice close up of it. Let's see? Oh, this might be great. Look at that. So, let's try to capture that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is really nice. So yeah, you see, you don't need any huge special places or all kind of stuff like that to take good photos. You just need to get out there and be a little bit creative and you will find some good spots. Oh, this one is a nice one. Look at that. Bam. So let's move in this direction. Let's see if we can find any other special places. Oh yeah. A little bit tougher with one hand. Yeah. Nice. 
I mean, currently it's a little bit tougher because I just have a camera in both hands, so it's harder to get the shot, but so what? Let's try to capture this here. It's really nice, icy touch. Let's check that. And we got it. And by the way, all my photos in this episode are edited with my complete collection preset pack. So there are over 100 presets in one single pack. So all kind of presets from 2021, including my winter preset collection that I will mostly use in this case here. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out the link that is down in the first comment. And obviously be sure to smash that subscribe button here so we can grow this channel together a little bit. And I think this might be a great shot as well. A little bit brighter because it's a little bit darker here, this leaf. But it's like this destroyed look. I really like that. Bam. Yeah, perfect. Maybe let's take a shot of the Canon R5. So let's put it right there. Now we will use the Canon EOS R. Something like that. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's get a little bit lower. Use the wide angle. Let's use the flip out screen. So you see a flip out screen makes things way much easier. You can easily move around the camera to find the great spots like that. I mean, it just looks great. The R5 is such a beauty. Let's go in this direction. Let's try to use this pile of trees here. Maybe we can take a couple of nice shots here. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, maybe here. This looks great. And you can place it like that, if possible. Yes. Please don't fall down. That would be bad. But you have to risk it to get a nice shot. Yeah, look at that. Such a great shot, only from here. This is such a nice angle. But let's try to use this one here as well. I mean, just place it here. Then please don't fall down. So nice. Maybe let's try to capture this one here as well. I think we need to switch back to the Canon EOS R5 because of the macro lens. Look at that. That was a great random encounter here. Never thought that I would get this shot here. Really nice. So yeah, I think that's it for today. So we already got a couple of great shots and I'm really happy with all those results. Even before I've edited them, I know that because I just checked them in the camera and they're so great. So if you're interested in some presets, definitely be sure to check out the link that is down in the first comment. There's a complete collection of over 100 presets for mobile and desktop. So 
definitely check them out. Maybe they are perfect for your next photo session. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay updated for upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next video.